Robert Carty, thank you very much. Uh, lovely to have you on the Perfectly Placed show and uh, just offhand, it's admirable to watch what you do here in the mornings at the Milneton Training Centre, running from ring to ring. Uh, you deserve every opportunity, Rob. We're going to run through your runners on Wednesday at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. You start in race number two. That's over 1,400 metres. You're riding number 10, Duchess de Orange. This one for Glenn Cotson. You're looking for improvement from that first run? Yes, uh, we ran it over 1,200 just to give you an experience run, uh, first time out. And uh, I said to, to Glenn and, 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 and Tracy, uh, maybe we should have run again at, uh, in the 1200, but there was no races for her coming up. So we decided to run over 14. That's what she needs, 1400 in mile. But uh, yeah, we just need uh, looking for improvement. Lovely. Let's move along to race number five. It's over 1400 meters. You ride number seven, Fairfield, for Glenn Cotson. She's in great form. Very good second last start behind Rocking Peony. Must have a winning chance. Yes, uh, she's a filly that we were also thinking of uh, running over further ground uh, after the 1400 metre race where she ran first time. And uh, she obviously needs 16, 1800, but there was no also races for her coming up, so we decided to stick over 14. And uh, she should run a good race in that race, and uh, she, I think hopefully she, she brings back the, the last run, she probably wants to beat. Let's go to race number six. It's over 1,400 metres. Rob, you're right. Number five, Noonday Gun. Uh, he won his maiden very well. Song to the Moon has come out to frank that form, but it is a tough race. Yes, uh, that's one I can never forget. Uh, he's got a bunch of owners and all of them, they were, they were the first winner. It was so amazing to have owners like that and having the first winner on the horse like this. And uh, yeah, his first run after the maiden, we're also just looking for a nice run for him and see where we go from him from here. Let's go to the last of your rides, uh, race number nine, over 1,200 metres. Uh, you got number two, Arm the Buzz. She's in good form, Rob. She ran a lovely second last start behind Royal Lytham. Has she made that necessary improvement back at home? Yes, uh, she's a filly that uh, we, we didn't expect her uh, to run so well first run, yeah, but uh, we were sort of surprised. Her work was very good coming to the last run, and uh, obviously she ran a cracker for Mr. Reeves, and, uh, and uh, obviously we, we, we got a race for her coming up now, which is a Wednesday, and uh, we... We're looking forward to, to her as well, just for another another cracking run. Obviously, she also she wants to be in a money day also as well, and just very happy to be running again. Thank you very much for your time, as always. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks to being a panel. <laughs>